Hey, what's up? Welcome to Rehab Vlog 1. You guys have been asking for it. I haven't gotten it up yet. I apologize for that. Uh, long story short, after the stroke, I was in the hospital for, I believe, eight or nine days, and then I was transferred here to Elmbrook Hospital in Brookfield for a rehab. And the rehab lasts as long as it needs to last. It could be a week. It could be a month. It could be who knows how long. But I have good news that I'll share with you soon. For now, I'll let you know what's going on. I was going to vlog yesterday, but I'm ashamed to say that I had a bad day yesterday. I don't know what it was, but something about this facility just wasn't right for me. It was a little too neat and clean and pristine and hoity-toity, I guess. I was looking forward to having rehab in the ghetto where I'd hear gunshots and sirens every once in a while. But I mean, that's like a beautiful, serene area. It ain't me. But I'm adjusting. I've got good therapists. I've got good doctors. They've got me on a real intense therapy rehabilitation program. Um, and I'm doing all right. This is day two, the end of day two. I had a real good day today. First day, not so good. But let me tell you the good news. Today, I was able to lift my right leg into the air, which doesn't sound like a big deal. But when you haven't had any movement at all on your right side for 11 days, it's a big deal. So I'm very happy to report that. Does that mean I can walk? No, I can't walk. But at least I have some movement, which is the first step. And I might be a little early to tell, but I may be on the fast track to recovery. But I will say before I close this vlog that, well, two things. Number one, I've never been angry at the stroke. And I've been angry with situations, people. I'm not an authority guy. I'm very rebellious by nature. So that kind of ticked me off here. But, but the stroke has never bothered me. It's one of those things that happened, and let's deal with it. The other thing I want to share with you is something I've been thinking about for a few days. It's kind of an analogy I want to throw out there. When I started doing gig logs, what, in 2007, I guess, they really motivated me to work harder. What do I mean by that? Well, if I went out and I blew a gig, no one knew it. I didn't know the people there that well. They'll never see me again. You know, it's too bad you never went to blow a gig, but you just kind of do sometimes it happens. When I started doing gig logs, it became very important to me not to blow any gig because the world was watching. So if I blew it or I had a bad attitude, you were going to see because I was vlogging for it. I think I'm doing the same thing through rehab. This is kind of like a very uh, long gig or maybe a series of gigs. And every time I turn the camera on, you're seeing my progress and how I'm doing. So you guys watching me, paying attention to me, sending me beautiful, nice messages. And kicking me in the butt every once in a while is a big help. So I want to thank you for that. We'll see you soon. I'm going to do a couple more videos, I think, before the next vlog by request from some of the people who have asked about my condition, how the stroke happened. I want to talk about that in a separate video. And I also want to do maybe a help video here, too. And I can only do them as I feel up to it. I don't mean to sound like I'm all sick, but, you know, I'm a little tired sometimes. It takes a lot out of you to do simple things like get dressed and go to the toilet and things you got to have the strength and, and the will to, and, and the energy and, and the alertness to shoot a video. So I'm doing this one now. Who knows, maybe I'll put two in the can tonight. So practice and enjoy. We'll see you in the next vlog.